Maths week eight, adding and subtracting fractions. First, check you have found and read these downloadable lesson notes found in week eight. In this video, we're going to focus on the adding and subtracting fractions in these notes. And we're going to work through this first example shown here. Now, in my notes, first of all, I'm going to show you when we add and subtract fractions with the same denominator, all we need to do is add and subtract with the numerators. So in this example, where all my fractions are in tenths, I, all I need to do is five add four is nine, and then minus two is seven. And the denominator was 10, so my answer is seven tenths. Now, in our example, in these notes, the question's a bit different because the denominators are all this or are all different. So let's have a look at the sum here and how we do this one. Let's get rid of this one. Our sum in the example is solve four fifths, add three twentieths, and take away a half. As you can see, all the denominators are different, so we can't just add and subtract the numerators. The problem is that the denominators are different, so the solution is to make the denominators the same. And to do that, we need to choose a common denominator first. That means either one of these denominators, where uh, one of them um, is chosen and the others are multiplied to make that denominator, or a single denominator where all of them can be multiplied and make that denominator. In this case here, I'm going to choose 20 because I know I can times the 5 and I can times the 2 and um, I can make a 20. So we're going to choose 20 as our common denominator as this one already has 20 as its denominator. This one will stay the same. So I'm going to just transfer that down here and I'm going to rewrite the rest of the sum with twentieths as my denominator. It means changing these other fractions into equivalent fractions with 20 as the denominator. So let's see how we do this. This one's four fifths. I need to change five to 20. So I need to times that by four to make that into a 20. That means I have to do the same for the numerator. Four times four is 16 and five times four is 20. The other fraction, the half, I need to make two into 20, so I times that by 10, I need to, and I need to do the same with the numerator, times it by 10. One times 10 is 10, two times 10 is 20. Now, all of my fractions have 20 as their denominator, so I will be able to carry out the sum as I did before when all the denominators were the same. Let's put the rest of the sum in. I'm adding and subtracting there. 16 add 3 is 19. Take away 10 is 9. And my denominator is 20. So my answer is 9 twentieths. The next stage would be to look at that answer and see if I can simplify it. That means find a single number that both of these, uh, numerator and denominator, can be divided by and make each number smaller. In this case, there isn't a number that goes into 9 and 20. So this fraction is already in its simplest form. And so that is my final answer. The key to adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators is find a single denominator using the common denominator and change the other fractions into equivalent fractions with that denominator. Once they're all the same, we can add and subtract as normal.